Two time major winner, 2018. Brooks Kopka here. What we'll notice here at his address position is how flat his back is, especially in the lower back, which is indicating that he's got his core muscles engaged properly, um, which is really just allowing him that perfect platform for a powerful and balanced swing with very, very good rotation. We've got a lot of big hitters in the Ryder Cup this year, but I don't think there's many that are going to be knocking it past Kopka. Phenomenal strength and power. And it all comes from his athleticism. Now, another thing I want you to look at here is at the top of the back swing. You'll notice that his left arm, wrist and club face are all pretty much matching each other. This is an important swing factor that I want you all to replicate um, at the top. If you can get all of those three things matching up, left wrist, left arm and club face matching each other at the top of the back swing, You've got a very, very strong platform for uh, providing a uh, square club face at impact. Also, you'll notice that, uh, like Rose and McElroy that we've discussed in previous videos, if you look at how his right elbow drops into his side in a downswing uh, transition, this is a massive speed generation move, generating move. So you really, if you want to add a little bit more speed, there's a reason why all these guys have got it evident in their swing. It's because this dropping of the right elbow into the right side in the downswing transition is, cause, is un un enabling you to really unleash power at that golf ball. A great move to, for us all to think about. Love him or hate him, our Masters Champion of the Year, Patrick Reed. You know, he's just someone that's uh, he's always going to be there or thereabouts in the big events, and none more so than the Ryder Cup. He's going to be pumped up for that. Just remember the, the, the duel he had with uh, McElroy in the previous Ryder Cup. Uh, it's going to be, he's one of those special players, a little bit like what Poulter is to the European team. He's going to get everyone pumped up for the for a big one for them. Hopefully it's not a big one for them and hopefully Team Europe prevail. Um, so one thing I just want to quickly look at with Patrick's swing is that to ensure that he has a smooth transition in the downswing, you'll see that uh, Reed is a slight pause at the top of the backswing. This is to stop him rushing the transition. Uh, obviously, if we rush the transition, uh, the arms and body won't work in sync. That's a fault that many, many amateurs will have. They tend to want to hit the ball too quickly. And so the body uh, will tend to move away from the arms, or the arms will start to move away from the body um, before it's at the backswing's actually complete. What's that going to result in, guys? Well, it's going to result in sprain shots all over the place. So, as much as we, we don't want to be spending too much time watching Patrick Reed because of his antics at the, the Ryder Cup, let's just take a moment to look at his swing and look at his transition. Really smooth. Copy this, and I can guarantee you're going to have more accurate shots um, on the golf course.